All right, so today we're gonna learn how to set up a dual PC streaming setup. So basically what that means is one PC is strictly for playing the game and the other PC is strictly for encoding that video and uploading it to Twitch. This, uh, this allows you to have a much higher quality stream. Um, if you're trying to stream a, a game like The Witcher 3, for example, and encode that and send it to Twitch all from the same computer, you're probably noticing that you're having some trouble with the quality. So this is how you resolve it. It's kind of expensive, uh, the way I did it at least. You could do this really cheap by having cheaper computers, but you're gonna wanna have a decent computer for encoding as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I have my setup and how you can do it too. Okay, so let me just kinda show you what we've got here. So this is my gaming PC and this is my streaming PC. So as you can see, my streaming PC is showing my main monitor. So that's monitor number one. And monitor number one has the Steam store pulled up and using an Elgato, uh, this is a more affordable way to um, capture the video on from your from one computer and send it to another. You can get a capture card that goes in your computer, but they're expensive. And I got an Elgato for seventy five bucks on eBay. So you choose how you want to do that. But basically, Elgato is the solution here. Here's how I have it set up. This Elgato has an HDMI cord running to the back of my computer here. I'll show you what I've got going on. Now I've got a GTX 1080, so I only have one HDMI port on the back of this thing. And I was it's already being used for one of my monitors, so I had to buy a display port to HDMI adapter. Now there's different ranges of these. I've got a, I got a very basic one. It's a uh, I think it's probably be, probably 30 hertz, um, and it's 1080p. So, and that's all I really need for streaming. Um, doing more than 1080 on stream is just not really something that everybody can do right now. So, um, I got this cheapo right here. It's five bucks, and it connects to a Display Port at the back of my video card, and then I have a standard HDMI cord on the back of that. So, what happens when you plug the Elgato into your video card and then you power it because it's currently being powered by being connected to this computer over here it uh, I'll show you Let me just sit down and scoot on up here what it does is it enables you to it, 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 it makes the computer think that it's a monitor so it's monitor 3 the Elgato is monitor 3 and what I did was I did a duplicate desktop for one and three. So whatever my uh, whatever monitor number one is showing, it's sending that same video feed through the HDMI cord to the Elgato, which is going over to uh, my Elgato software, which is actually on this screen right here. It looks like this. that's this computer screen, but actually it's just emulating this one. So if I bring Steam back up, now it popped up over there, okay? So everything I do here goes over there. And that's basically it, that's how you set it up. Um, I, I use this Elgato right here, and uh, it just, it's, it's really simple. The computers kind of know what's going on already, so. Plug your Elgato into your video card, and then go to your display settings for on your uh, on Windows and configure the Elgato to be a third monitor with a duplicate display of your main monitor. And then uh, that's basically it. Now you may need to mess around with audio settings. Um, there's many different ways to do that. What I do is uh, well, there's two different ways I do it. I go to my audio settings and I play audio through my HDMI cord, and then that goes to the Elgato, so I get all my audio that way. Another way is to take audio from your headphone port. So for example, I've got a headphone port here, 
and you can send this to your other computer via auxiliary port and then you can configure your audio that way as well. Another way to do that, um, well, an another thing to consider is your microphone. So I have a microphone here. Um, and currently the microphone's plugged into this computer, but all I gotta do, is this white cord back here, is I could just unplug this white cord right there and I'll string it right over there via USB. And then I can get my mic audio capture through this computer but my mic is still here. It's got a really long cord. Um, same thing with the webcam. I, so I like to use webcam in my videos. So I take this webcam here and I just unplug it from this computer and string it right over there. And then I'm good to go. So that's the quick, easy way. There are ways to use this computer and then send all, that, all those signals over there. Um, but the easiest way is just have a long enough cord or get an extension and then just plug those fucking things over there on, onto your other computer and then you're good. And that's basically it. You have everything you need at that point. And you don't have to worry about having shitty streams and uh, you can really have some high production value. So that's that. All right, hope you guys learned something.